Hey guys, my dad requested a peach pie type dish and this is what sounded good and what I came up with. And fortunately, I actually remembered to record. So what you're gonna need is four peaches and you're going to slice them so that they're about, if you can see here, about a half of an inch thick. You can peel them or you can leave them unpeeled, which I did for multiple reasons, but mostly laziness, and a lemon. You're gonna to wanna to roll your lemon a little bit just so that the juice is, is ready to go. And then you need to zest your lemon. So you can zest a half of a lemon to a full lemon. If you do a full lemon, the lemon taste is gonna be equal, if not slightly more than the peach. And by zesting it, all you're gonna do is run the lemon rind over this microplane, and that's how you get this here lemon zest. So it's up to you as to how much lemon you'd like to use and how much lemon you like, if any. You don't have to use any at all. It's, it's optional, but it really makes it delicious and summery. So to the lemon and the peaches, you're also going to need a half of a cup of sugar. You could use less if they're really ripe sweet peaches or more if they're not so sweet. And a quarter of a cup of tapioca. Now, some people may use cornstarch or flour to thicken your fruit, you know, pies or whatnot, but I love the way tapioca is in a pie, so I've always used tapioca. Add your lemon juice to your bowl along with your peaches, your zest, your tapioca, and your sugar, and give them a nice, soft mix. Once you get them nice and mixed together, drizzle over about a quarter of a cup of water. If you want it to be a little bit runnier, this will be like the perfect gelled consistency, but if you want it to be a little bit runnier, add a little bit extra water, maybe about another quarter of a cup or so. You can see here that everything is nice and wet and I do have a little bit of juice in the bottom. So add your peaches to a greased nine by nine or an eight by eight sheet. Now for the topping, you're going to add about eight tablespoons or half of a cup of butter to and I, as you can see, I cubed it up just so that it's easier on my mixer or by hand, half of, or a full cup of packed light brown sugar, dark, whatever you have, a cup of regular all-purpose everyday white flour, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. I was at my parents' house. I only had a half, <laughs> so as you can see, it's a heaping teaspoon. You could also add a little bit of cinnamon to your peaches if you want them really cinnamon-y. Cinnamon add all of your ingredients to a mixing bowl and give them a mix. There might be some bakers out there saying, oh my gosh, you need to cut it, which you can do with two knives, you can do it by hand, you can do it however you like, but basically all you're trying to do is get this here consistency so that the butter is worked into everything and it'll melt really nice. You're gonna add this to the top of your peaches and then spread it out so that it's nice and even over all of your peaches. So as you can see here, I have a nice even layer. Now this part is completely optional, but it's something that I wanted and I was craving and it was delicious. It added an extra little crisp. Sprinkle over about an eighth of a cup, about an eighth of a cup of sugar. And just so that it looks like this, um, again, completely optional. And then if you want it to be extra buttery and extra crispy, add about another tablespoon to two tablespoons of small cubed butter. And then this way when it melts, it's going to kind of melt down and be extra crispy, crunchy. So you're going to place your peach crisp into a 350 degree oven and bake it from anywhere between 45 minutes to about an hour. That's what it looks at 15 minutes and here it is at about 50 minutes. As you can see, it's bubbling and you know, crispy and it's just, it's cooked all the way through and it is delicious. So what you're gonna wanna do is let it set. So you can let it sit for long enough to cool it down just a little bit, but you're gonna wanna serve it warm. And here is what it looks like. As you can see, it's like perfectly gelled. It's not super runny. Add more water if you want it runny, and it's delicious a la mode. So I would recommend serving this with some nice vanilla ice cream. I have a recipe for it. I'll put it in the description box for a vanilla ice cream that you don't need an ice cream maker for, but you can click here to subscribe. I post new recipe videos every Monday. Thanks for watching.